colons are used to introduce items in the list. For example, I'm teaching the following classes next semester, colon, and then you go on to list the classes. But I want to bring you down to this tip down here. You only use colons when the list does not fit into the sentence's construction. If the sentence flows naturally, if the list fits naturally into the flow of the sentence, you don't need to use a colon. I wouldn't use a colon in this sentence. The Jackson's three sons are Peter, Sean, and Mike. Right? That sentence, it all flows together very nicely. I would use a colon here, however. The Jacksons have three sons, Peter, Sean, and Mike. Now this colon, you can sort of hear, I paused when I was reading this, and that's what this colon indicates. You should take a pause, and then after this colon is where I'm going to list these different elements. So only use a colon when the list doesn't fit naturally into the sentence. You can also use a colon to elaborate on a statement. For example, my classmates and I all agree we will need to reread chapter three before the test this week. In this sentence, I'm elaborating, I'm explaining what my classmates and I agree 